Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and, yep, it's, uh, Thursday morning, 2.30 a.m., um, I'm, I'm doing an er I'm kind of early on this one, um, because, uh, just, there's gonna be some animation on this, so it's gonna jack up the file size, um, but let me, uh, let me, let me intro this music real quick, I was playing this during my, uh, the video I was making yesterday, you guys are probably, you guys have probably uh, see me play this from time to time, but I figured again, since I was uh, since I was also playing this during the making of my uh, my tier list video, more on that later. Um, I figured I might just go ahead and play it here. So, in fact, now that I think about it, yeah, I think I believe the very 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 first cast video I did had this uh had this music in there so there's some dark monastery chants um gothic litanies uh warhammer ambient music so anyway and for those for those that didn't for those that hadn't noticed that uh yes i'm i'm doing this video on thursday morning because i had a call in yesterday it's just there wasn't no way um i had a i've had a sinus infection now for the past few days um trying trying pretty much everything short of sticking dynamite up my nose and pulling the plunge so and nothing was really working um and so yeah sure at some point uh But what ended up happening is, is I, had, I have already taken two naps, and I'm really trying to fight to having to take a third. So yeah, um, the grogginess has returned again. But again, this is from me getting poor sleep the past few days. So. But um, so needless to say, I. Pretty much spent a good chunk of my time just laying around like a slob, watching random stuff. Um, but um, I will say for the for the stream for yesterday's stream, like I said yesterday, um, I found out that this game actually has grapplers. So for the longest time, I thought um, I thought this game just had nothing but you know combo heavy rushdown characters in fact uh one of the youtube videos i was watching about fighting game archetypes like it had showed all grappler rushdown and they showed some examples one of the examples of a rushdown of a rushdown character i think they said pretty much every single character on dragon ball fighter z they're all rushdown characters so i think this is at a time too when i had just started playing it so I kind of took their word for it. Didn't think much of it. Um, story mode, I got up. In fact, I wonder if I have it. Let me look real quick. Oh, wrong one. So let's go over here. Still working on it. I still have it. Nope. Uh, I think I got rid of it. Yup. It ain't there. Okay, but anyway, um, but I was doing story mode, and um, one of the characters I was stuck with, I. I just kind of noticed that, hey, this guy's a grappler. In, in fact, I did a, yeah, I did a, I did a demo video yesterday talking about that, but, but yeah, it definitely looks like I'll be playing, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters longer now. The grapplers in this game are better, are better than the, than the one in, uh, the one in Guilty Gear. 
Только Потянкин. So. Well, yeah, that was kind of unexpected. So, and um, I do need to do one more thing. I was kind of, I was a bit hasty in putting this together. Like I said, I want to, I wanted to get this taken care of now. Because I'm still got a fair amount of stuff I gotta, I gotta work on today, or after this, after this cast. So, I guess, um, it was something else about, uh, something else I kind of, I just, uh, it just now occurred to me. Dragon Ball Fighters is starting to take the path of, uh, Guilty Gear Rev 2. Um, because when I did my, uh, fighting game tier list, um, Rev 2 was pretty much fucking S tier, but it, it wasn't like that at first. It was a game that grew on me over time. The more I played it, the more I liked it. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, pretty much the same thing now. Once I found out that uh, Dragon Ball Fighters actually has grapplers, uh, my interest in that game just kind of skyrocketed. Oh, and a special added bonus too. I, I believe all characters in Dragon Ball Fighters have it, but they're all capable of range attacks. Even the grapplers. So I'm like, you know what? I don't. I can't really recall a, recall another game I played where it has it. Um, Dalsum of Street Fighter has it, but uh, I know in uh, Street Fighter Five he could uh, he could spit a fireball. Um, he has a close range fire attack, and he could uh, he could uh. Breathe, he can uh, spit fire on the ground and it'll stay on the ground for like some odd seconds. I don't know he has that, but uh, I, I don't. At least I've never, not that I've actually played. I've never played Street Fighter Five before, at least not for any long period. But I doesn't really strike me as as great um, great range tools. Um, and I still have yet to, I still have yet to toy with the grapplers I got now, seeing how well their, um, range attacks work. Yeah, if I can remember to, I might have to look into it. Because I don't, I don't see a whole lot of Dalsum in Street Fighter V. So, but, uh, from what little I did, from what little I did see of them, yeah, it's, Oh, for those that don't know, um, Dalsum in Street Fighter, in the, uh, Street Fighter universe, he's, uh, he's basically, a he's kind of a melee, or, um, how to go, a, a ranged melee character, it, you know, he's got stretchy limbs and stuff, I know, I know in all the Street Fighters, up until Street Fighter V, I think all he had was just, a fireball projectile that wasn't anything special and then he um uh, he could also breathe fire it's kind of a close range attack but that was it i think the and then the grapplers and street fighter or the grapplers and um uh, dragon ball fighters i'm trying to that i can think of Yeah, I mean, some of the tools they have are pretty effective, but uh, once again, sorry to sound like a broken record, I don't know much on Dalsum's gameplay in Street Fighter V, but I'll tell you what, since I'm probably just gonna hem and haw and stutter for the, throughout this entire time, I'll just go ahead and cut, stop here and just move along. But, uh, one thing I did do last night is, uh, I put together, a, a hard rock slash metal tier list. And the, the video's up on, the video's up right now on YouTube. 
That's all, but it was just. Otherwise, I was just pretty much spinning my wheels the whole night. So I just um, figured I might as well make myself useful, and it just something I decided to do on spur of the moment, just make a tier list. Um, and I'm prop, and I'm probably gonna end up ruffling some feathers. Probably gonna offend some people. Um, and I, I don't really, a lot of play, people, a lot of people that, uh, when they do these tier lists, they often say, this is just my humble opinion. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't like doing that. <sighs> totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, but like, but like, like I was saying, I imagine I'm probably gonna end up offending somebody with the list, cause like I said, I, I tend to have different music tastes. Anybody that um, anybody that saw my music genre tier list will probably know this. The 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 music that I like, especially these days, are pretty much not gonna be the kind of music that uh, most everybody else likes. But yeah, it just, it just some of these uh some of these uh, tier listers, you know they'll, you know they'll they'll title their uh they'll title their uh they'll title their videos like ultimate tier list and and like the only tier list you'll ever need and the one hundred percent accurate tier list on such and such, but then they throw in there somewhere. This is only my opinion. Like, look, dude, either it's one or the other. So, but that was so, that was something else I noticed after um after uh, checking out other other tier lists. So you just the um the contradiction, for lack of a better word. So and. And there was something else I was wanting to say too. Oh, that's what it was. Um, I think I said in the video that uh that Soundgarden was the uh was the uh, was the godfather of grunge music. I think um I think I said um they were doing it since the early '80s. I actually re and they basically beat out uh, Nirvana and Pearl Jam and all them by ten years. Um. I think uh, I looked. I watched a YouTube video or part of it. I think I looked at Wikipedia as well. Um, I wasn't completely correct in that. I mean, Soundgarden was out before Nirvana was, but I think it was like I think it was like five years or something like that. I think. Uh, oh God, what was it? I think Nirvana's uh, first album, I believe, was Bleach. I think that's what it was. I think it came out in like 1989 or 1990. Um, Soundgarden's first album. Oh, was it Ultra Ultra Mega OK or something like that? I think it came out in like 1985, 1986. So yeah, I had the um, see, I had the uh, stats wrong on that. So yeah, that was definitely one thing I wanted to say. can't think of anything else. Yeah, I think it was just that. So, alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for me. Um, I've pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. So, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and I, sh and most likely, I'll probably end up having to work tonight and tomorrow and which means I uh, you definitely won't be hearing from me until Sunday morning so but until then thanks again for coming by everybody and see you all next time bye for now <laughs>